Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Colin McRae Dirt. Today is episode number 15. If you want to keep up to date with all going on in this series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Instagram, and Discord. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Very nice. Right, next up, we are moving off to the valley, I think that is. The Jamul Valley. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. It's time to shine in the valley. And left four over crest and right. Oh, not good. So this is the valley. I think this is the one with lots of hairpin corners and that. Lots of tight turns, twists and bends and, right and everything. Three and right three. Left five, 40, left two. Yeah, it is. Oh, what was that? Into right three and crest. That and was not crest. ideal, whatever that was. 150. Crest, 80, right two. No! Oh, uh, I did just ruin that guy's race. Like, he's lost half of his car. I kind of feel a bit bad, but I don't at the same time, so uh, fuck him. Let's carry on. Into left two. It's a game at the end of the day, we don't have to worry too much. If it was real life, then I would probably stand at the side of the road and, like, properly stop. But as it's a game, it doesn't matter. Nobody died. Right I remember two. this track being quite tricky for the BMW when we did it last. 60, left four, right three, it was left a very three. difficult one, not for it to navigate, but for it and to right actually... Oh! That was clever. That was and some skills three. there. Titans Squeeze right it between two, the cars. But uh, to actually keep it speed up, it's a little bit on the slow side. 150, right one. The Mitsubishi is much better at that. Two. And right two, and left two, and up and down, and side to side. Sixty, right four into left one. Imagine a co-driver giving an instruction like side to side. That would trip. That would trip the driver out right so one. much. And left one. Up and down, side to side, like a roller coaster. Right one and left two. And here we go, time point. On to lap number two after right three four. minutes and four seconds, point eight eight. One hundred and left four. And right three and right three. One hundred <sighs> left five. Very tired. Left two. I gotta get this finished though. I've gotta finish the Ressers game. We haven't got too much longer Into left right actually. And Anyways. And long crest. After this, I think there's tier 9, which only has two events. Uh, no, not tier 9, tier 10, which only has two events. And then uh, tier 11, which is the final event. The big guns. There's half of the car there. From that uh, Turag. What is the front of our car? Oh! Into left two. I didn't actually check the front of our car. That's pretty bad. Right four, left four, right four. Sixty. This left is awesome. Three into right one. And left two long. Into right two. 
60. Left four, right three, left three. And right four. Nice. And left three, tightens it to right two, left two. That is good, that is good, that is good. Well done. Beamer, you're doing me proud today. There's a car right behind me though. It's another Beamer. I'm pretty sure it's a Beamer. It looks Beamer-like. Looks like a BMW. Right one and left one. Could have rolled the car there. There's a lot of roll going through those corners. Right one and left two. That is good. That is good. Very good. 80. Left three into right three and right two. Left three and right three opens. One fifty. I really want to see like a dirt showdown too. Crest dirt showdown was a decent right game. I like that to be the next game that they make. Even if they don't make dirt six, then if they do like dirt rally oh, three point oh next and then do dirt so showdown sweet. too. But I would love a dirt showdown too. I really would. That was a fun game. But that is that race done. 2 minutes 58. Our fastest lap was 2.48. Um, like our personal best. Which I think might have been the buggies. The super buggies. <sighs> right. But we are now on to the lower Ate Lake in the X3 in America. Let's do this. Alright. Here we go. Final race. This is it. One fifty, left five, Titans four. It's gonna be it for the raid T1. I don't think there's and actually right any more raid T1. I think it's right hill climb and core for the tier ten event, and then um, the final one is a mixture. So there'll be raid, Crest, left four, very long, and hill right climb, two. rally, rally cross, all sorts. There is six events on the last one. Two hundred. Awesome. Left six and right four long. And left four and left five these, into right three. These settings are so good. The scenarios, the scenery. Right five. The scenery is just insane. Then you go back in time to all these older games. Like, I'm right playing three, Gran Turismo 4, 4 at the moment. Right, five. right, there is... Get back on the track. Get back on the track. Thank you. There is a track, right, in Gran Turismo 4 called Grand Canyon. Looks a lot like this. But the graphics of it... Caution. For 2004... Three. Like, after playing modern stuff, you think... That's actually still pretty impressive. The graphics aren't the best, no. Right four, I mean, Titans three and left three. I mean, there are other games like Gran Turismo three and all that are very sort of like textured. Right five into left five. Whereas Gran Turismo four seems very like pixels. Everything's One rendered pixel by pixel, and, crest, left five. and it seems a bit off the quality of it. But it's still such a fun game to play. I haven't re been recording it. I've been playing it to thoroughly enjoy. Just enjoy some Gran Turismo 4 for myself. Right three. Um, I have a feeling I might be recording some Test Drive uh, Unlimited 1 PS2 edition. But I'm not 100% sure yet what right I'm going to record and what I'm not. I think I'm also waiting for... Um, 
a better PC so I can properly record Gran Turismo because I've had a lot of problems trying to record it. Arrows and jump and time point. 150, left five, Titans four. And right four and left four. That is and decent. Right four. Get some good corners here. Crest, left four, very long, and right two. Very good. 200. Come on, come on. We got this. Left six and right four long. into right three. Nice. If I was trying to like complete the game, just like get to the final event as quick as possible, I probably would have done it in two days easily. But because I wanted to do every single race, enjoy every single thing the game has to offer as much as possible, it's taken a bit longer. And I've probably made a, Caution, at least 15 rest, videos out of this game. Three. Easy. Um, I mean, I'm not sure at the moment because obviously I do all my editing afterwards. Right four, three and left I don't. Three. I just record clips now, and it's so much easier for me. Um, but yeah, I don't know how many episodes I make five. until I get to the editing stage. 150 jump and crest. Left five. Awesome. That was awesome. Right three. Ah, come on, stay. Steady. Steady on. 60, left five and right three. Perfect. And left four, Titans. 150, right three. Here we go, final corner. And Mess that up. And right five. Remember, the uh, road drops away there for some unknown reason. 80, narrows and jump and time point. Jump and time point. 520.6. I was we really good. We won the event. Great we won stuff. the championship. That was good. The GG's all round. And we actually got a personal best, 236.62. Very nice. That was very good. Very good indeed. Next up is another hill climb event as well. Hey, even I was impressed. Awesome all the way. 150,000 British pounds. Right, and next up, what we're going to do is the full Pikes Peak Hill Climb Unlimited. We have a choice of our six vehicles again. Now, I really want to take the Suzuki, but obviously we now have the sleeker Pikes Peak available to us. And that has a lot more torque, actually. <laughs> that has an insane amount of extra torque. Um, oh, I think we're going to have to do it. We've got all the other cards unlocked anyways. So we can get either Goodrich or Penzol. I quite like the black. We'll stick with the black. So we are going to the full Pikes Peak track. I'm going to enjoy this. Let's do it. Right, here we go. Toyota Celica Pikes Peak car. And holy shit. Okay, that's quick. I will say that now. That is very quick. This thing has a lot of grip too, surprisingly. Oh, big contact there. 
That would have done a lot of damage, I think. But uh, I can't look behind me because I am too concentrated on going fast. Ah! Gone off. Get back on the track. Perfect. We don't have any wheel geometry damage, so uh, that's a plus. Oh. oh, no! Okay, that was a pretty cool roll. Uh, nearly messed our race up completely. This is uh, unbelievably quick right now. And we are now onto the dirt section. Or should I say the first dirt section? We go on dirt for a bit, and then we move over to something else. Tarmac. Very good. The speed at which this thing can take corners is unbelievable. And the fact is I oh, Jesus. I actually believe it as well. These things are bloody quick. I've seen the Suzuki Escudo, uh, there's actually clips of it going around Japan on Japanese like dirt tracks. They've got their own Pikes Peak Mountain in Japan. It's sort of similar. But uh, they've got one, and the car is insanely fast around there. We have gotten to the, the uh, third of the way mark. Okay, it is 12 splits as well. Definitely 12 splits. Uh, this is coming up to tarmac now, I think. No, maybe not. Here we go, tarmac. This is going to be tarmac for a bit. And we're going to go back to dirt at some point. And then I'm not sure if it goes back to tarmac again or not, though. Genuinely can't remember. We are coming up to the halfway mark, though. And there we go, halfway. Halfway through Pikes Peak. And we're at four minutes, so uh, this is going to take probably about eight total. Um, but it is going to reward us with a huge amount of money. I didn't realize how quick this thing was compared to the uh, Suzuki, though. This is so much faster. Like, I'm not even joking at this point. It is so much faster. Right, whatever you do, though, do not drive it off the side of the mountain, please. And here we go. On to dirt. Jeff Irvine behind us, probably about an hour behind, maybe. The fact is, cars shouldn't be able to go this quick uh, up dirt, but they can, and they've done it, and it's insane. And there we go. We are now what, two thirds of the way in. And we are thick. Oh, come on. 
34 seconds ahead. That was not a corner cut game. You know it. We all know it. I'm surprised that this thing only has five gears compared to the uh, Suzuki 6. Flooring it through here. You've got to be careful going over the side of the mountain now. Because uh, you go over that side and your car's not coming back. Say goodbye to it. And say goodbye to the really good run that we've done so far. 38.1 seconds behind. We could technically just go for a cruise now and still win. This is really good. Oh, not ideal, not ideal. Woo. I literally had a bit of a heart attack then. I am not gonna lie. Kinda panicked that I was about to lose my car over the side of a mountain. There's a train, choo choo. This is the dodgy corner that we've been off many times before. Here we go, here's the top of the mountain. Yes! There we go. 42.6 seconds. Nice that was very good driving. That was cool. Look how quick this is about to come out of the start gate. That is ridiculously fast. 7 minutes, 51.33. Just under eight. We were aiming for eight. Um, so getting under that, that's pretty decent. I knew decent. your time would come. Take your place in the final event. It's now or never. 200,000 credits and the final event. It's unlocked. That is going to be really cool. Right, so next up is Core Pro 4. We've got, wow, three races to do. And we're going to be taking the Toyota Tundra for this. Uh, we're going to get a new design. We'll go for Toyota Yellow. Why not? We'll go bright yellow and blind our opposition. Right, first one is Crandon. Let's go. Right, here we go. Toyota Tundra. The first race. Four laps. Big truck time. These are the big boy toys. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, nice. Keep it steady. Come on. Stay away from the wall. Thank you. Awesome. That is amazing. Come on, come on. Nice. Squeezing pass there. Coming on to the first lap. Let's go. Awesome. We've already lost the uh, right-hand side door. That's uh, gone missing. I think these trucks only have three gears, don't they? Oh, no, they have four in this game. In uh, Dirt 4, they've only got three. Oh, we got a wipe out there. 
He didn't even make it to the first lap. Bad luck there. Ow! Big crash. Come on, come on. This is good. This is good. I'm really looking forward to getting to the final event. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Again, this as well was the first racing game I actually properly played. Or the first one that I can remember. Gran Turismo uh, PlayStation Portable was about a year after this that I played it. Maybe even two years after that. But yeah. This game start pretty much started it all. It definitely started the obsession of dirt, that's for sure. Because ever since this came out, I've loved dirt. Dirt Rally ruined it. Ruined the series for me. I hate Dirt Rally and Dirt Rally 2.0. It is next to impossible to drive. I just can't get the flow for the cars. Um, but yeah. I really love the uh, numbered dirts. Dirt, I feel like, suits a more arcade style to a serious style anyways. The um, simulation side of Dirt is a little bit bad. Rallycross is okay. Because I can still sort of drive Rallycross. Um, but Rally is impossible. It's like you're supposed to be able to take corners, not a... Uh, cruise your way into a wall. This is really good. Coming up to the final section of this race. Here we go, slowing down. Around the corner and come into the finish. And there we go. Ta da! All that champagne. That was a really good race. Right, let's see. What is the next race going to be? We've obviously got 10 points. Awesome. And we are going to Chula Vista A for the next one. Let's do this. All right, here we go. This is the final of tier 10. Come on. After this, it's going to be the main event. The big one. The final one. And hopefully we don't get uh, spun out multiple times and flipped around. Um, but this race, I have a feeling, is going to take about five and a half minutes, six minutes. It takes about a minute and a half per lap, approximately. But uh, these cars are a lot more stable over the jumps. Oh, no, he spun out. I said that at the worst time possible. Come on. We have this in the bag. We've got this in the bag. That jump was insane. And 
And I have a feeling, yeah, I think, oh no, this is where we started. That is a straight line section where we start. Perfect. So I think the race yet is going to take about five and a half minutes. That is really good. You don't want to keep turning while you're jumping. You want to try and be like going straight and then turn maybe about half a second after you've landed. You can start turning. Because if you turn in before you land, you're going to turn more than you want to. Because it will, it will slide. Sometimes that slide can be useful, but most of the time it's not. Um, or if you are going to turn, you have to turn very slightly so that the uh, car actually properly properly turns effectively. Awesome. Let's keep this going. We're halfway through this race. Two more laps to go. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We're going really well here, really fast. Over the jumps, or the bumps. I think they're more bumps than jumps. After this, we're on the final lap. Awesome. Lap number four, the final lap. We went miles off the road there. Really wide. That is awesome. Go! -hoo. There we go. And across the line. That is amazing. The entire event yours is won. We've won the final event of Tier 10. Perfect. Look at that. Look at the times of that. That is crazy. Got some really good lap times. 28 points total. I think second place only had 17. Awesome, man. Who taught you to drive like that? Out of sight. And 175,000 points. 175,000 pounds, sorry. And we're saving the content. Moving on to the final event. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. Make sure to check the description down below for all of our social links. We've got Instagram, Twitter, and Discord. And if you want to stay up to date with Colin McCrae Dirt, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. 
If you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit the join button and also check out our merch link down in the description. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.